changes to pass. Welcome to Leaders for Pets. My name is Kirsty. And I'm Phil. You join us as we work through our A to Z of board games. For T, we have chosen tribes, um, early civilization. Apparently. A magical <laughs> journey through um, a early civilization from uh, Paleolithic to Neolithic to Bronze Age person. So we're talking about cave people, we're <gasps> talking about yes. exploring hand axes and shells for currency. What? One minute. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, I'm ready now. All I ever wanted to do was take games seriously, <laughs> and this is what I have to put up with. I don't want you talking oh, about. Oh, really? I forgot my bone. <laughs> you forgot your bone? <laughs> it's in my hair. It's the latest grades. Bone in the hair. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Tribes, early civilization. We are going to be inventing new technology, well, not new technologies, um, like Ooh. Paleolithic and Neolithic technologies. Um, they are going to be provided as victory points. But let's have a look down here for more of the rules. And less <laughs> over here. <gasps> <laughs> At least some of us got them, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hurt any animals to get my outfit. Neither did I. It's purely synthetic. <laughs> okay. okay. Teach us the game. Let's let's go through the game. So I set up uh, during setup you're gonna be placing technology tiles on the board and you've got like a wooden age, Paleolithic, Stone Age, uh, Neolithic, and Bronze Age technologies. And at the start of the game we're gonna flip over all these bottom ones. So do you wanna flip them over? I can do that. It's not out of my uh scope i have this level of understanding more than ug okay okay so during the game we are going to be um advancing these technologies and once we claim a technology using one of our cubes we're going to be able to reveal the technology directly above it and it also gives us access to invent those technologies as well mm -hmm. but to do that we need to provide the resources that are on the card. So here we've got some gold, we've got a horsey, we've got some wheat, and we've got some incense. Mm -hmm. um, nice. Fine. Um, the other thing we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be growing our land, which you can't Ooh. see at the moment. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to draw three tiles each. And when we're drawing those three tiles right at the start of the game, we need to make sure that we've got at least two of the tiles that match two of the resources there. Okay. So I'm going to draw my three. Give them a good shuffle. One. Oh, look, gold. That's good. That's good. I've got an oh, exhausted no. one. Yeah. <laughs> and I've got more gold. Oh. So actually, I have to discard. Actually, no. I've got, You've got two gold. Two gold so I can actually keep them. Um, over what's to you. This little... It's a little sheep. Uh, where we come from, that's called food. <laughs> yeah, true. I have all oh, incense. That's useful. One down. It's a pony. Half an hour later, Gertie will have drawn three tiles. Sorry, this is new technology to me. What, cardboard? <laughs> yeah, as cavemen break. I aren't aware of it yet. Okay, so we've got two matching. So we've got um, incense and horsey. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's going to get annoying. It's a crazy wild <laughs> really? cavewoman hair, apparently. When we claim a technology, uh, with our technology cubes, we're also going to gain the victory points that are represented. So uh, the initial ones are going to be two and then one after that um, on these bottom ones. You can only claim a technology once and that's going to progress your victory points around the victory point track. Okay. In a two player game, the game ends when one person gets to 35 victory points. It's a lot of points. It is a lot of points, but it, it actually comes fairly rapidly. Okay. So. To use or to utilise any of these resources, we need to have one of our huts located on one of those tiles. Mm -hmm. This represents our little <laughs> village growing. Aww. So at the moment, I've only got one hut. Mm -hmm. um, and I might want to grow that so that I can gain access to more resources. Because if I've got huts here and here, then I've got three resources I can gain access to. Okay. Which is nice. At the moment, I've only got sheep. I wouldn't be putting my hut on sheep because there's no sheep out there. I'll be putting it on gold. Um, You're going to put it on and I'll put it on well, I'm going to put mine on gold there. I'm going to put mine on incense. Okay. 
actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to put it on the pony. You the sure? Pony. Yeah. Okay. So, right, yeah. during our turn, we are going to be able to do one of three actions, or one of four actions, and they're represented here. And from this is our like this is a timeline. So normally it'd be up the side of the board, but we need the space um, just in our particular setup. So we're going from um, right to left. So this is the earliest action we can take, and this will be the latest action we can take. At the start of the game, we only have three actions or four actions available to us. All of these three actions have an invent on the bottom, mm -hmm. but then we also have the three uh, three additional actions. So we've got explore. Explore allows us to draw tiles from the bag and add them to our land. As long as it's adjacent to a piece of land we already own, that's fine. And we draw as many tiles as this explore track gives us little dashes. So it's one, two, three, then it's all three after that. Okay. However, um, when we to progress further, we get plus one victory point, plus one victory point, and plus two. So you can get a maximum Ooh. of four victory points by maxing actually each wow. of these. Four, eight, twelve, no, four, eight. Extra victory point. Sorry. 16. 4, 8, 12, 16. Because there are four tracks. Yes, I was right. Yeah. And then, I... and then you thought yourself out of it. Yeah, I did. Because Kirsty and Matt. Uh... <laughs> we don't know who what that is in Caveman World at the moment. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, stick on stick. Yeah. Okay, so Explore allows us to draw tokens from the back. Mm -hmm. Move allows us to, when we, uh, well, actually, let's talk about Grow first. Grow allows us to grow our little settlement. So we look at our grow rate, which is this little hut symbol here. We're both currently on one. So I could add a hut to my land. Now, uh, importantly, I can only add that hut to a location where I already have huts. Obviously, because you haven't moved to make a new no, settlement. I'm creating my, a bigger settlement. But actually, sometimes settlements get a little crowded. And so you might want to move. And we look at our move rate. So at the moment, I've got, I can move one, one hex. So I can move that to there and access two gold, or that to there and access mm -hmm. a golden sheep. Now, if I've got three here, four here, um, <gasps> one movement still only allows me to move one thing. Um, okay. But I can move, eventually, three hexes worth. Wow. So that could be one hut for three hexes, or three huts, one hex. Okay. So how you grow your land, actually, is important uh, from a positioning point of view to just minimise how many times you need to take the move action. Okay. Now... The invent action allows us to claim one of these technologies. So at the moment I've got gold, which is great. So I can take an invent action and I can invent jewelry or bartering. Um, when I actually claim a new technology, there's a couple of things to watch for. First and foremost, the cost. So jewelry costs a gold. So I must have a resource on a gold. Or alternatively, I can have a resource that's not matching mm -hmm. and I can exhaust that resource. But once that's, once that's exhausted, that tile can never be used again. Uh -oh. So that's not great, but you will at times want to exhaust resources just to progress your game forward. Mm -hmm. Next thing to do is, as you're placing your little cube, is to look to see if um, it's covering anything. So for example, this one covers nothing. This one covers an E, which means we'll have an event card join this timeline. Event cards basically are uh, one-off events that either reward us with victory points, negative victory points. They have various effects, and we'll see those as we progress through the game. Um, this one has a hut. That hut allows us to move this hut action from the top to the bottom, so we now have two growth actions. Nice. So at the moment, these three extra actions are not in use, but we might have the opportunity to migrate them down here. Okay. We're also going to come up with some victory points, add the victory points to the victory point track. And then we're going to advance one of these tracks at the bottom. So explore, growth, strength, move and move. So we've got all four represented here, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, and we get to move things across. So obviously, as we progress these, we get more actions for the same amount of um, resource that we're taking. Okay. So there are main actions. Um, we can also take event cards as they occur. Mm -hmm. If we don't want the first action, we can spend one of our shells to skip an action or uh, multiple actions. Yeah, because we don't know about money yet. We don't know about money. We use shells mm -hmm. instead of money. Yeah. Now, the beach. <laughs> now, you will get shells will get tight within the game. They become uh, as resources go. They become quite tight. So. Uh, being able to skip actions is quite useful. Okay. You can take an action tile and not do the action if you just need to get shells back, basically. Okay. 
Um, the one thing I didn't mention when I was talking about these cards is when you actually claim a technology, you reveal everything that the arrow is connected to. So if I if, <laughs> if I got cooking, I'd reveal these two tiles above it. Okay. And they would now be available for whichever player had gone there to actually right. access. So that's the game. Um, I believe I've been chosen as the starting player, so I get this wonderful running shoe icon. <laughs> which is actually a hand axe. Um, that's going to sit with me. Axe, right? Yeah. However, the starting player, the game just progresses in take take an action, go, mm -hmm. take an action, go. So it's quite a straightforward progression after the first player. But the player who goes second in a two-player game starts off with a bonus victory point. So Kirsty gets plus one victory That's point. That's nice. Thank but you. But I get to go first. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Well, I am going to go first and I am going to invent. So okay. I take the invent tile or the explore tile in this case, but it has invent on the bottom. Mm -hmm. I am going to invent, I'm going to invent, probably coming as no shock, I'm going to invent dual, um, in fact, no, we'll do bartering. Okay. So I've covered it, first of all, I get two victory points. Mm -hmm. I advance my move, <laughs> one to there. Yeah. I also then, underneath here, as an E, so we draw <gasps> one of these <gasps> shuffled <laughs> tiles, raiders. So, plus three victory points if you claim that tile when you're the strongest, and this is okay. the strength scale here. If there's a tie, your joint strongest. So you both get the three victory points. Yes. Now I've okay. taken this. Yeah. I've taken my invent action. I've done what I needed to do with the invent action. I now put that at the end of that timeline and we move it all forward. Nice. And now it's Kirsty's go. Okay, so I'm going to invent. I have my horse resource. So I'm going to place it there. Which brings for two victory points. This down as well. Yep. Uh, and it increases <coughs> my strength. And that goes up there. Now, I'm going to be very simple. I'm going to grow um, because actually I could just oh. do it. Did you want me to turn these over for you? Oh, yes, please. And I'll turn yours over for you. Thank you. So we've got uh, <laughs> polyethism. Ooh. We're inventing gods, which is always good. Mm -hmm. And um, fences on the other side of things. Cross sheets. Okay. And how many victory points did you get? Two, I believe. Yes. Okay. Over mm -hmm. to you. Uh, why is it me? Because I had the last game. Yes, you did. You did that. I know. That was your first game. Yep. No, that was your first game. And then I grew. So actually we should have done that one. No, I, oh, I did one. bartering, Sorry. not joining. That one's right, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then you did that. Yep, yeah, okay. Shut up, Kirsty. Okay. So, um, I am going to this one. So three victory points if the strongest, and my strong strength is two, and your strength is one, which means that I am the alpha cave woman. Ugh. Keep those tiles for yourself. <laughs> Just you. to remind you how many points you stole <laughs> from me. I'm going to explore next. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go down and I'm going to draw a tile from the bag. Okay. And I get a sheep, yeah, which sheep. is absolutely it's useless nice. at the moment. No, it's oh, not, it's not actually. <clears throat> So I am going to um, I'm going to grow. So I'm going to put my little dude there. Okay. Thank you. That's quite right. Um, I'm going to move. Mm -hmm. My movement is two. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do this. Whoop. Okay. I am going to. Hmm. At the moment, only Kirsty can take polytheism and only I can take fences because we are the only people yeah. you can only sort of you know, follow the paths basically. So you're that's why the cubes kind of guide yeah. your way. <clears throat> um, hmm. I am going to. I'm going to actually now I'm going to grow. Okay. So I've got another house there. Oh. That's fine. I am going to invent. Okay. Makes sense. I am going to invent fences. Woohoo! Wow, well With done, my yeah. two sheep. Um, I've covered, I get three victory points. One, mm -hmm. two, three. Hello. Hi. Um, we turn this one over <laughs> because we can. Ooh, it's philosophy. philosophy. 
which yes. takes incense is required to make philosophy. You know, I'm not sure how it works. Um, <laughs> this is going to come down here. It's invaders plus <gasps> four for the strongest. Mm. Yep, but fortunately, I moved my strength up with that one as well. Yes, you did. So, we are. Okay, so uh, I am going to put a shell here mm -hmm. and I'm going to move. So, these, so in this kind of activity, these move down and this yes. will now go at the end. So, my movement is one. So I'm going to move that one there. Nice. Okay. Okay. So I am going to drop that one on there. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to take this one for the invent action. Nice. And I'm going to exhaust a sheep. <laughs> oh, Poor sheep. He's tired. I don't know what I did to the sheep to exhaust it, but I really exhausted it. Um, and I'm going to take a shaman. You meant him to eat all your grass. That must be it. Shamanism. Uh, for for two victory points. One, two. Um, which also puts another <laughs> event in mm -hmm. the queue. Oh. And allows me to advance my explore. Okay. Kirsty, over to you. So uh, I am going to. I'm going to invent. I'm going to use my incense. Just come here. You took that two points for me, but I'll take that one back. And you also gain. And explore. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, <coughs> I actually knocking up. No, me. it's not. So I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that because mm -hmm. we're equal strongest. I so get, we four, both get four. No, <laughs> only yeah. the person who takes it gets a victory point. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to grow. Add a hook. And my growth is one, so I'm going to put it there. I am going to take that one, I'm going to invent, I'm going to exhaust another sheep. Oh, poor little sheep. I know. And I'm going to put my cube here, which mm -hmm. is one, two, and I get to add onto my growth. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, I am going to invest. Invent. You can... <laughs> yes, but I'm going to invest my little sheep. He's going to get exhausted. He can't, there's no hook on it. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, oh, sorry, these two should have been revealed as well. So, yeah, you can't exhaust uh, to spend a resource, you can't exhaust unless, unless you've got a hook. So, I need to move before I do anything else. So, let me go back. Damn it, cheese making. I've just exhausted both my sheep. <laughs> Unfortunate. Really? Um, hmm. I think I've got no choice than to explore. Let me think. Um, Two and explore. My explore level is two. Just press in the bag, please. Let's see what we go. Thank you. Let's see what I've got in here. See what good is. Really? Wow. A field. And a I'm field. <laughs> so I have gold. Is it good? And, and incense. Incense, incense is really good at the moment in this game. It's good. I don't mind it, you know. So I don't mind it at all. I am going to grow, so I'm going to take that one and that shell, because I'm getting a bit short on shells. <laughs> and I'm going to add, my growth is two, so mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. Okay, I am going to one, two, I can only move one, can't I? That's fine. Move. Okay. That one there. Fine. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna explore. Okay. So I get to draw two <laughs> two tiles. One, two, three. Incense, yes. To in this vent. And some sheep. And I'm right. venting the here for three victory points. One, two, three. It's also got an event connected to it. 
and I can improve my explore today. It's a volcano. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. So at the moment we've got two little trickies out. So we've got this one, which is the Ice Age, and we've got Volcano, and they could stack up at this end just collecting shells if we're not careful. I'm going to put that one there, mm -hmm. and I'm going to grow. Okay. Oh, that was on there. So we get three shells, which is really what I wanted, mm -hmm. rather than the growing. But I will also put out my two things. Okay, I have to take this and do minus because I am well. We're neither of us the weakest. We're joint weakest. So minus so two, one, minus two. Minus two. Um, which is okay because I needed the shells. Over to you. Thank you. I will be moving because that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. And my movement is two. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go. Okay. So I am going to. So I'm going to exhaust my horse. And those two. Yep. So three and Four incense. here. Okay. Which gives me five. One, two, three, four, five, hello. To here. It, it creates a um an event and I get to increase my explore, which is also giving me a victory point. How exciting. Mm. And you've revealed an earthquake. Great. Which whoever takes it will have to exhaust three hexes. Okay. I'm gonna explore. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> two more tiles. Okay. So I hope something good. I've got a horsey and I got a sheepy. Nice. I should go there. Um, I am going to make horse noises. Yes. Uh, I'm going to grow. Okay. So my growth is on one, so I can add one, which I will put there. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to move. <laughs> And I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. That's really mean. <laughs> Why is that mean? Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to grow and put that one there. Okay. I'm going to vent. Mm -hmm. I'm going to invent. I'm going to invent traps. Really? Yep. It gives you one victory okay. point, which isn't the important thing. I can now take a volcano without <laughs> losing a victory point. Um, hmm. I'm out of shells. Yes, you are. Mm. That's a good point, actually. So if I was to take that, that would really screw you over. Yeah, it would. Oh, what a shame. So has everyone noticed the change <laughs> in Curtis' playing of games? I don't want you to talk about it. I, no. I am purely, I am purely a cave woman. I don't know about men's feelings yet. <laughs> There was a time when there is no way, <laughs> no way Kirsty would have actually screwed anyone over. This is a this is and like now, cave woman Kirsty. And now Don't she's now she's playing games properly. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna have to take the earthquake, which uh -huh. was well played on your part, which means I have to exhaust. So I'm gonna go with the gold, because uh -huh. there's nothing particularly that other than you. Know, I'm gonna do those two uh -huh. and I'm gonna do Ooh, I'm gonna do incense. I don't have a lot of incense to uh -huh. worry about too much, so let's do that. Okay. But that really causes me problems. So well played. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to... Um... <laughs> okay, I am going to put one... Oh, I don't know, because I don't want to give you any shells. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh... <laughs> I'll put that there. I'll be kind, because I want to do a little bit of movement. So my movement is on one. So all I'm going to do is just go one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to take the shell. Because you need the shell. And He's I'm desperate for the shell. I'm going to use my two sheep mm -hmm. and come up here yeah. for that one, which gives me three, one, two, three, and I advance my move one, which is mm -hmm. helpful. Um, but there's also an event. And it is nomads plus two victory points to the strongest player. <laughs> I've not got the shells to get there at the moment. No, you haven't. Okay, so I <clears throat> am going to do do do. Okay, how many are you? I one, two, three, four, six, <laughs> three. Oh, it's going to make it possible. Yeah, so I just grow now and then expand. And I'm going to put that there and I'm going to invent. So I'm inventing. Would Wait, you believe what? it? I'm going oh, to hang invent. on, this gets turned over as well. Oh, yeah. mm. Horseback riding. Nice. I like that one. Um, I am going to invent jewellery for two points and advancing my move. Okay. That. So one, two. two points, and that's that, and then that explains it. Baking. Nice. The obvious progression from jewelry, jewelry to baking. baking. <laughs> yes, well, if you're in lockdown, that's what happened. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> okay. I will grow actually, I'll as a person, <laughs> and that my grows on two, so I'm going to do there and there okay i am going to i'm gonna invent and i'm gonna come here i'm gonna barter for one victory point and i get to advance my movement oh i might just apparently my, no, just that <laughs> nope, one. Okay. um yeah that goes back up there I am going to take two victory points because uh -huh. I think that's sensible. Okay. I'm going to uh, and my explore level is at three. Come on, come on. Let's see. Yep. Let's have some good luck. Let's fingers crossed. <laughs> It's a river. Gold. Gold. It's a pony. I need a pony. I need more than one pony. And, and sheep. sheep. That's okay. It's all right. It's okay. That one's going to go in there. It's water. That one's going to go in there. There. Is that? Okay, what a pretty pattern. Okay, so I'm going to invent. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm going to exhaust my two sheep. Oh. I've exhausted a lot of sheep you this have. game. Yeah, it's slightly worrying. Uh, and my horsey mm -hmm. will give me that one for five. Wow. One, two, three, <gasps> four, five. Plus one strength gives me mm -hmm. another one. Mm -hmm. And we get an event. Which is enslave. Oh. Grow at your strength level. Ooh, nice. That's not bad for me. That's nice. Okay, so let's see what's going on in the world. Curse is now in need of some victory points because I'm yeah. quite way ahead. I know. So my movement is on three. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to move and I'm going to move one, two, three. Okay. Uh, hang on. Three. Okay. I'm going to explore and draw. Some of these. Okay. So two of these. Some incense. Nice. And some wheat. <coughs> and we're gonna do one of those there and one of those there. Okay, I've got the shell there and I'm going to invent. Uh, 
I'm going to go there using my two sheet mm -hmm. and advance my strength up one. Okay. Which is giving me two victory points. One, two. So I'm going to go there mm -hmm. and there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move. Okay. So I'm going to go, I've got three movement, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to go one there, mm -hmm. one there, and dot the other there. Okay. Um, I'm going to want to invent. I have two here, and I'm going to two oh incense two okay. incense, and I'm going to exhaust my pony as my third incense mm -hmm. to go here which gives me five victory points one two three four five i advance my explore which gives me another one, one. victory point um and it created an event lose three tribes so oh, lose no. three hooks now what's that no, they're falling. They've got the disease. I'll be growing. I, I can imagine. <laughs> Which I'm still on growth too, mm -hmm. so I think I'm just going to go here and here. Okay. I will be inventing. It's getting quite nervous now. So I have two sheep, so I'll be mm -hmm. coming here for two victory points. One, two. I also get to advance my movement here. Which gives you one more victory point. Which is another victory point there. You didn't cover anything? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Right. So I will be going. And I will explore. Mm -hmm. Which my explore is still only on two, unfortunately. The sheep. The blue disc, which oh. shouldn't be in there. Ah. <laughs> and an incense. Nice. Go there. And there. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna put, oh, actually, um, grow up my strength by bar. Which is three, so three. get three hooks. Oops, take those shells. It's only because I've run out of shells. I know. So keep I, that. that. Keep that. Um, and then I put three hooks away. Yep. Um, While Chris is doing that, I'm going to be moving, so I'll take that one. One. There. One. Two. two three. 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 Okay. Yep. Um, then I will go one, two. I'm going to invent. And I am one, two, three, for this one here. Mm -hmm. For four points. So it gives me. One, two, three, four. Advance strength by one. Advance my strength. Which plus one. Yeah. There. My go? Yeah. So I'm going to go here and here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bend. Yeah. I'm going to do incense mm -hmm. and that wheat can go, I think. Mm -hmm. There, I'll go back there and here, which gives me four, one, two, three, four, advances my explore by one to there. Okay. Do I need to cover anything? Do I? Nope. Okay, so I am going to go one, two, one invent. to invent. Now, which one's going to give me more? <laughs> you only need three points. <laughs> yeah, I know. Baking. I'm going to come baking. Yeah, so I'm going to exhaust and exhaust. Exhaust my little sheep. 
and exhaust my uh, incense here like that. So that's two, right? So then that goes there. It gives me three point one, two, three. Woo! Oh, it works. Anyway, let's carry on, and I get to advance my growth, which is nothing there. Um, and there would have been an event, which would have been yeah. And the event would have been attack. <gasps> Other players lose hit hooks at your strength. Oh, well, that would have been a good one for me. <laughs> yeah, so you've won by six points. <laughs> <laughs> See, us cave women know what we're doing. Do you? Do you really? <laughs> <laughs> would you like to give lovely people your thoughts on the game? Hang on, I just make my hair a bit more cave woman. <laughs> really? I can't do it. It's been washed and it won't stay messy. Um, what? I really like I this game. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Should be like dragged to a hedge backwards. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I really like tribes. Thank you, Mr. Bailey, for introducing me to tribes. Tribes uh, is a lovely, beautiful game that I just so happened to have the clothing for. <laughs> <laughs> no, serious note. This is a great little game. Um, it's it's not a web placement. What is it? It's action selection. You select action. Yeah. yeah. Um, I it sticks to theme perfectly. Um, it's simple. I think it's one that you could use as an introductory um, yeah, definitely. game to friends and family for sure. Um, I like the different methods in the way that you can get the points because obviously there's, as we said at the start when we we're running through the rules, there's the ability to add sixteen. Just purely just by yeah. increasing these, let alone being the first ones for that. I really like the event cards. Yeah, I, the fact that they, you know, they're um, pluses and minuses depending on which one you choose. Um, I think that's really good. I like the artwork. I think the drawing of the foot, the feet are fantastic. Um, and I like the eye. It's very beautiful. How you doing your makeup? Yeah, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> the buffalo. They're so cute. Um, yeah, I, I, no, I enjoy this game uh, a lot. I think it the theme runs throughout. It, yeah. it feels, yeah, I, I really like it. I enjoy this game. Yeah, I love this. This aspect here is quite yeah. nice. The expanding of your tribe, and when you first look at it, you're like, oh, we're gonna grow so slowly. It's gonna take forever. But actually, <laughs> does, you're building really these tracks it. up, and you're going. Anywhere. And and at the very first time I played the game, I was like, oh, I'm not exhausting any of my tiles. But it's <laughs> yeah. actually, you've got to do it to keep up. I think I exhausted one before yeah. you did the first time we played. The shells are a wonderful, wonderful mechanism. Yes. Bidding has been done in games, like, again and again, for, for like, mm -hmm. to skip an action. That's, it's nothing new there, particularly. But the fact that at the start of the game, each player is limited to five shells. There's no more than the, in the two-player game. There will be ten shells in the game, full stop, end of story. And as Kirsty demonstrated earlier, you can really scupper somebody by by actually like, oh, actually, oh, yeah, I'm going to take that. That limits you to taking the first or second action every time. Yeah. And then you've got these horrible things um, like the disease. That mm. Actually, if you take that, yeah, you're going to get loads of shells. Mm. But at some point, it's going to it's going to impact your game as well. And they're really mm. the negative ones are like they they feel bad. Yeah. But it's a really nice mechanism within the game. We really yeah. like it, and the tension. <laughs> the, the the fact that it's a nice race as well. Yeah. Um, it's a nice race game. Yeah. I like it, it. The fact and you do build tension and you can see I I, I exhausted too many tiles too quickly in that yeah, game, which meant I stalled. That's why that's away. <laughs> and then Kirsty went could get ahead and exhaust tiles right at the exact moment, yeah. so you could invent invent. In yeah. a row and just finish the game off. So I was like, oh, I have to exhaust my pony, and then you turned over that, and I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, I did that. With, I did that with the sheep. Yeah. But it's and it's that decision on when to actually exhaust tiles is actually quite a nice decision. One of the things I really like in the rule book, um, so we didn't play it here, we wouldn't play it, is a handicap. So if you're playing against brand new players and you're ex experienced at the game, uh, at the start of the game, we all start off with five shells. Um, give the other player a shell. So you only need to end up with four. If there's two new players, give each one of them a shell from each player. So like each idea. player only has like each experienced player only has mm -hmm. three shells. And they have seven each. It's a nice. It's actually nice to see something like that in the rules because yeah. games can be really 
it's really difficult when you're playing against experienced players sometimes to actually enjoy a game because you feel like you're fighting a losing like, yeah, battle. I don't, like, I don't know what I'm doing. Everybody knows what they're doing. Yeah. Like, I've been there. Everyone knows what they're doing. I don't, but there's nothing that's going to give me an easy handicap unless I keep asking what to do. Yeah. And you don't want to do that because you don't want to annoy people and aggravate people, but at the same time, you want to take part. So that aspect of this game is fantastic. Yeah, I really like that idea. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> So yeah, I really like that aspect of the game, but the, the, in the rules it's got a, a way of handicapping experienced players and I think that, that yeah. really helps you get new players into the game. Yeah. The actions are so simple, so straightforward that the pace of the game is really nice as mm -hmm. well. It doesn't stall very often no. um, because you're often not looking at actions that are appearing right at the end of the list. You're often looking at the yeah. first three or four actions max. Yeah. To, to figure out what your next move is and sometimes you might take a suboptimum move because you just don't have the shells to take the action you want yeah or if you knew that for example i don't know like i may have taken that one now like there were example, there were four shells on it yeah fair. and if i knew that by the next go that i could i could have had that and then knew that i would have won by doing yeah. it you know, you know what i mean it's, i mean to be fair i mean it, losing tactical. losing three hooks is mm -hmm. not really a problem for either of us but no, um, I've still got incense to keep me going, which is my you. first one. So, <laughs> it's a really fantastic little game. Um, yes. It plays really quickly, uh, but actually a lot of fun and a lot of nice tension. It plays really well at two players. Yeah. And because the the um, the ending score moves, it plays it plays nicely over different player counts as well. So it, it yeah. keeps that pace going. There is a B side of the board which has different arrows, different directions. So you've got a little bit of variety there. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, there's about 12 uh 10 of these tokens in the back for each era so oh, you've got some know. variety we there we should have oh, that that should uh that yeah we should have when monoetheism was complete I'm writing i know who knew that sheep taught you how to write oh, it's a pause uh -huh. the hooves are on it um they hold pens between their front hooves. <laughs> so okay. um yeah it's a it's a really nice game and it's a quick one especially on like a, a, yeah. a gaming a game night as a little getting people going while yeah. you're waiting for other people to arrive. This is a nice, quick and easy to set up because mm -hmm. most of the setup's in the bag anyway. Yeah. So yeah, if you haven't tried Tribes, Early Civilizations, give it a go. It's, it's out there and it's it's a, a fun little game. It's definitely worth a play. Yeah. Like the first time, like the first time I played this, I was like, oh, oh, oh I'm not sure I'm going to get this. Actually, the first, and like within the first, I was like, oh my God, I love it. Yeah, a couple of <laughs> there turns There's an in. instant fall in love with this game. So um, if yeah. you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Don't forget, you can follow us on, uh, on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. Just search for Midas Wilpes. Thank you for your time. Take care, everyone. See Bye. you soon. Bye.